Guys, I'm not going to run this one hard. I was saying earlier in the live feed, I was going to show you a few things I didn't like about the Cub. So we're going to jump right into it. First thing I don't like. Notice this when I put this engine on it. And this ain't that big of a deal. But it's kind of a little pet peeve. Kill switch is on. No throttle. Will not crank. I've tried everything as far as adjusting everything on it, but watch when you crack the throttle. It'll fire right up. May this be a cub motor thing. I'm going to drive normal up through here and show you how long it takes for this thing to get onto the fire band because the cub motor's mid to top end. This is over a quarter mile straightaway right here, and I'm going to kind of get up in six and hold it about half throttle. It'll take like the whole straightaway for this cub motor to start coming onto a power band. Maybe wrong, but we'll try. It didn't even try to get onto the power band, and I actually floored it. I have throttle. Well, there's one thing I don't like about a cub motor. They don't like lugging at all. Next thing, we'll go over and climb this little hill. To clean it out right here. Must have been in fourth gear. <laughs> Banshee would go up this hill taking off right here and sec it like it wasn't nothing. It'd make short work of it. Not a cub motor. You let the clutch out off idle, try to get down on the gas, it'll go up this hill sputtering. It will never touch the pipe, getting onto the pipe or the power band. Watch. First, we're in second gear. never even thinks about getting on the power band. Now if you clutch it, it will. But I'm showing you the downfalls of a cub motor in this video because everybody asks and I never say nothing bad about it. So I'm making this video to show you what I don't like about it. Average temperature of 155 degrees at the moment. You'll notice if you stay on the power band or stay on the pipe, the puller has plenty of power. That's not the reason I'm making this video. Like I said, other people want to know how these things do this normal driving. So I'm going to go back up here and make a lap or two of normal driving. They run fine, but if you're down in a hole where you're needing extra power, you either have to clutch a cub or rip the guts out of it. If you're on a hill, say third gear power band and you're climbing and you have to let out of it and you get back in it, it will not recover on the power band. Most of the time you have to downshift or clutch it to get it to go.
35 is just a drive, not even getting into the power band. I'd say that's 50, 60 mile an hour, and I ain't even kicking the power band in. It's coming right in, and I'm backing out on the throttle where it don't get into it. curve just then it spun and I let out of it and I tried to get back in it and it kind of bogged down nine times out of ten if that was a banshee with pipes it would have done been on the power and kept spinning I'd either had to downshift it there or clutched it not really too many downfalls of having a cub motor at least I don't think I like them of course you don't buy a banshee no way to putt putt around at least I don't from the videos you can see I ride them pretty good not bragging or nothing but that that's about it guys i mean there's only a few downfalls and you'll notice more of the downfalls of a cub motor in the woods you don't notice it a whole lot out here but it's there so yeah that uh about cover what i wanted to do is downfalls one being the starting issue you always got to open the throttle but i do think that's normal for any banshee even says it in the service manual. It's more announced with a cub motor because it's a bigger motor. Uh, and the lugging capability, it don't have it. Uh, the live feed, if a lot of y'all watched it, a guy asked me what was better. A serval is 100% better for woods riding unless you want to ride one on the darn clutch or wide open pretty much. But share us with your buddies that Want to know the downfalls of a cup motor? Hope to see y'all riding.